Hi guys! I can't believe that Halloween's right around the corner. Last year was a total bust for us. I was seven and a half months pregnant and Lincoln was sick and we never even made it out of the house in our costumes. And the year before wasn't much better. So we're going big this year. I'm starting with decorating the house and today I'm gonna to show you three super spooky and really easy to make Halloween decorations. First up are these blood curling candles. All you'll need is a white and red candle and some embellishments. We're gonna start with our white candle and a smaller red candle, which is gonna be our blood. Light the red candle, let it burn for a minute, and then simply lift it and drip it on top. And continue around the entire candle until it's as bloody as you want it to be. Ooh, this is kind of creeping me out because I seriously hate blood. And ta-da, our candle is done. That literally took two minutes to make and I think these turned out so cool and scary. These bloody candles make a skin crawling centerpiece for any Halloween party. I like to add little embellishments like nails, spiders, or skeleton hands to make them even creepier. Next up is this spooky skull wreath that's perfect for Halloween. All you'll need are some foam skulls and a hot glue gun. We're gonna start with our skulls. How many you need depends on how large you want your wreath to be. I have 17 of these small ones and we're gonna begin arranging them in a circle side by side so that the heads are all touching. Once your shape is complete, it's time to start gluing these guys together. We're gonna to take one of the skulls, lift them face up and attach with hot glue. And we're done. You have a super easy Halloween wreath that you can hang on your door to let trick-or-treaters know you're open for business. And finally, we have these super creepy cheesecloth ghosts. All you need is a large doll, some cheesecloth, and fabric stiffener. We're gonna start with our doll. You'll need one that's pretty large. She's about 20 inches, and drape your cheesecloth over her. I've cut it to a little over twice the length of the doll, so it's about 45 inches, and then doubled it over. Tuck the fabric around the arms and the legs to give it form. Now we're ready to spray on our stiffener. I've diluted mine in some stiffen quick so that I can spray it directly onto the fabric. As the cheesecloth gets wet, it'll start to wrinkle up and mold to the doll's body. Give it a thick, even coat. And if you don't wanna wipe down sticky counters, you might wanna do this outside. Our fabric's saturated, and now we're gonna leave her overnight to dry and terrify anyone that walks into my kitchen. All right, our fabric's dry, and we're gonna start removing it from the doll. Gently peel away the fabric and set them on a step for a spooky Halloween scene that's sure to give your guests a scare. All right, guys, I hope this puts you in the Halloween spirit and you'll give some of these decorations a try. Tell me in the comments below what you're doing for Halloween. Calvin's excited, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, guys! Bye.